WordPress powered blogs like edublogs.org allow you to quickly embed a wide range of content using the URL. This is really easy to do and once you know how to do it, it can make your posts really engaging. So I'm going to show you how easy it is. So let's start with YouTube. I found a video I want to use. All I do is grab that video URL, go to my post where I want to embed it, paste the URL, click save, and when I view my post, I'll now see it embedded in my post. We can even do it with Twitter. So all we have to do is find the tweet that we want to embed, copy the, the URL, go to the post, add the URL, click Save. Now when I view my post, I can see a beautiful tweet embedded. You can also use it for Flickr. So in this case, I'm going to add my photo from Flickr. I've copied the URL for where my image is, updated my post, and now I have my Flickr photo embedded. I can even do the same with the video that I've got hosted on Flickr. All I have to do is once again copy the URL, paste it in my post, click save, And now you can see I've embedded a video from Flickr as simple as pasting the URL. The main thing to watch for is you don't want this hyperlinked. So uh, if that's hyperlinked, you need to unlink it. This is what hyperlinking looks like. So this is a, an example if it had been hyperlinked or linked. To remove that, you press the unlink icon. Final tip. If I don't like the sizes that I've embedded, I can use, uh, if I'm using an edublogs.org blog, I can switch over to embed code. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I could use embed code for, the, for this video. All I have to do is click on share, embed, I can change the size of it to whatever dimensions I want, I can remove the show suggested videos, but I'm not going to worry about that for now, I'm just going to copy that embed code, go back to my post, click on the HTML editor, add my embed code, click save draft, in this case I'm going to just publish it. The key thing to be aware of here is don't click back on the visual tab once you've added embed code because some embed code can be um, broken if you do that. Now I'm just going to have a look at it on my post and and now you can see, of course I cheated and changed the code to a bigger one, uh, you can see now that the video is a lot larger than the original one I embedded. And uh, by using the embed code I can control the size a bit more. Hope these tips have helped.